Okay, Leanne, we're about 10 minutes away from leaving to go to pick up your new baby. How are you feeling? Um, uh, quite stressed. I must say that um, stress is a really good laxative. Yes, remember that. Um, always go before you leave. Here I am packed, and I have taken enough, so as you would think we were going to go and take the child on a um, safari for a week and a half. <laughs> I've got, in case he needs anything, I have it. Five changes of clothes, uh, shoes, uh, water, um, formula, a bowl to drink out of, a, a bottle to drink out of, um, everything I can think of. And Jen hopefully has my paperwork. If Jen doesn't have my paperwork with her, then we are. We um, have no baby. Yeah, we have no baby. And uh, here I'm look, mom already because you can see I have already broken a pen, a black gel pen, which we are required to have, um, on my clothes, my fingers, and everything. So just I before look like leaving. A mom. Yeah, yeah, just before leaving. And this is my outfit I have to wear so that I match the clothes and everything that he's seen me in. This is not what Leanne normally looks like, but she did in the picture, and so maybe Fu Tao Tao is going to recognize her based on her pink outfit today. Very stunning. <laughs> and are you excited? Um, right now I have, I think, butterflies everywhere in my body, but um, I'm trying to be calm, 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 calm. Do you plan to cry? I don't plan to cry. I, I, it may be obligatory. I'm not sure. I don't think it's, uh, I did have a good crying jag last night to get rid of all the past stuff out of my body. So I'll be crying about new things instead of past things. But yes, um, and Jen was very nice and sort of held me while I did that. And, um, and yes, and it was really hard to sleep, and I feel... She was up at like 6.15. I looked at the clock. She was already buzzing around the room, making beds and tidying things and shoving things in places. And I had my and shower, yeah, yeah. <sighs> and, and uh, yeah, so we, uh, so I had about, again, four and a half hours sleep, because I wasn't really tired, because at 2 o'clock in the morning, it's 2 in the afternoon in Montreal. And I wanted to get everything done, because otherwise my mind was just thinking, do this, do that, do the other thing. And here I'm looking at my watch. It's okay, we still have time. And uh, then, yes, uh, I woke, we set three different alarm clocks so in case we slept in. <laughs> I was a little freaked out because the day before I came to China, I had a meeting in Ottawa, and I set my alarm clock, but the alarm clock was set to the wrong time. It said 5 a.m. on it, like I was supposed to get up, and instead it was actually 5.30 on every other clock in the house. So I ran out the door without changing, um, didn't have my paperwork and everything, and I was afraid that would repeat itself here. So, um, so we're as ready as we can be. So I woke up at quarter quarter to seven, yes, and uh, and dinged up and was wide awake and packed. And we met the other family down at breakfast and had a lovely breakfast. I changed money because it turns out all of our U.S. cash they actually wanted yuans instead. And um, I got told my Chinese is very cute. So it's not good, it's cute. What's the first thing you think you're going to say to Fu Tao Tao when you see him? Ni hao, Tao Tao. Ni hao, Tao Tao. Well, see, I should ask him what his name is. My mom was like, hi. I'll probably just forget and say hi him in English. I don't know. I just spoke Chinese. I'm uh, not Chinese. I just spoke French to the front desk. And that's why they told me it was cute. It took about 10 minutes to explain to them why I was speaking French to them instead of English. And for some reason, it was important that they knew. But anyway, there we go. So we're off to go and get Tao Tao. And uh, it's really weird. I can't even think of him as Benjamin. His name seems to be Tao Tao in my head. Uh, it's a really cute little name. And, uh, and we have t a couple of hours alone with him today at lunchtime. And uh, I'm going to run the camera when uh, we meet. So you'll get to see lots of good stuff today, and hopefully we're both not going to be total basket cases crying our heads off. <laughs> we'll scare the poor kid. He'll be like, oh my god, you've given me two emotional cripples. <laughs> it's good to be excited. Congratulations, Leanne.